Johnny Stegman Reviews. In this week's episode, we're going to be reviewing a, um, I would say not a classic day state, but it's gone out of production now. They did a limited edition run of this rifle and then they put it into production and then now it's out of production. I believe it's one of the last rifles before they started to regulate all their rifles as well to be made. So let's get it on the table and see what it is. So this week's rifle is a day state Huntsman Griffin. Now this rifle was released in 2015 and the first set of it was run as limited edition. Then I believe it was that popular they decided to run it as a production rifle. The limited edition rifles look very similar to this, but they also had a lighter stock, um, a lighter grey stock, and they did it. it was, I don't think it had a barrel shroud and the cylinder wasn't silver either. I just think it was the action was silver. This was still all blued. So, a few, um, I believe it was still in 2015, they decided to run this as a production rifle, which then led to this one. So, from butt pad to the end of the silencer it is around 39 inches long and it tips the scales at 3.5 kilogram so it is quite a heavy rifle but it also is nice and compact this was based around the very famous day state huntsman regal and um, the unregulated version obviously and it was fitted with the harper slingshot um system so that obviously keeps you everything nice and consistent this rifle is fitted with um, a hugget shroud and the hugget silencer which I believe obviously people asked for. Um, basically, well, it just because it looks nice. Uh, I, I don't really, I wouldn't use that on the HFT course, but it doesn't matter anyway because it is nice. It has a nice Manelli stock. It looks a bit like what they now use on the Wolverine R's with a big thumb hole and a grip. It was designed by Gary Kane, I believe, to start off with, and they took it to Manelli, and Manelli made it. It's got an 11 and a half inch dovetail rail on it. So you can fit your scopes on it. There's no attachment for a Picatinny to, to this as far as I know. It's got a very smooth cocking bolt action, backwards and forwards, obviously in that lots of cocks it, which I'll show in a minute when we do the pellet testing review on it. And it comes with a single shot tray, which is fitted on this one, or it comes with a magazine system. Now it's not the window open system magazine, it's the old uh, rotary one that was on a spring and obviously springs out um, as it cocks it. When you cock the rifle, sorry, it rotates the spring on a little lever underneath. It's got a fully matched um, grade adjustable trigger and it's also fitted with a safety catch around the side. It's very prominent like on the Regals, backwards and forward just there. It's got a nice little red dot which I'll show you also when I spin it round. Now it also is fitted with a gauge on this side which I'll show you. It's got a gauge just there and you fill this rifle up to 200 bar via the connection there. It's just a normal foster connector. You plug that in, 200 bar, all done. And back on. So, what we're going to do is we're going to try this out with three different pellets again the JSB, QIS, and the bar rates, the three pellets that most people use. And we're going to do it at 30 yards and we're going to see how effective this is. Now, I have actually shot this um, a couple of weeks back at the Camelot's Cup and it is a very accurate rifle. Uh, the only thing that let me down was my balance because I'm still a bit unsteady on my feet after my um, foot injury that I had. But the other thing I'd like to mention is it's been obviously dipped or painted in this very, very nice, like silvery sort of, like matte silver sort of thing to match the action, which works really nice. And this, um, it'll tell you on the end actually, it says Griffin and it says Hug It Shroud on it and Silence on there. So that is all fully Hug It, all that bit there. The other thing I didn't mention, so I forgot to mention this, is it's got an adjustable hamster, which is here. So you basically unwind that, and the hamster comes up, well, it even comes off and down. So that can be removed if you want to remove, remove that. But I actually find it quite quite comfy when you're there. It's a very comfy rifle, and it's very adjustable. It's also an ambidextrous stock, so you can shoot it both ways. But yeah, that for me is very, very comfortable. I like how it obviously falls up. It's adjustable here and it's also adjustable here, so it is fully adjustable. So let's get uh, on the range, spin you around, and we'll do a 30 yard pellet test, five shots at each target, and we'll see how we get on with that. Right, so we're going to do five shots for the JSBs first and see what kind of grouping we get with these.
Right then, so we'll do the QAS now. Shots with QAS at 30 yards. And now we'll try the barrel eight. Right, so that's about eight. So now let's get the target card in and see how we got on. Right, so the pellet test results for the Day State Huntsman Griffin. Now, this has got a wolf for barrel on it, I believe. Um, so it, normally they aren't that fussy. I know it's like so it is a bit windy again today, but um, that's the results. I'd say the JSB won it by a country mile. It's got one little flyer there, as they did the same hole. QIS was all over the place. Now, the barrel eights, I've got. Two flyers there, and then obviously that would have been a thumb hole as well. But I reckon them two flyers possibly could have been me, and then it would have been between the JSB and the Barry Rates, which I probably reckon if you take that group and that group into consideration, I reckon it would be the same. And I'd write the QIS off now. These guns, like I said, they've gone out of production, they've come up, you know, they're not they are quite rare, I believe. There's not many people, not many of them caught for sale anymore, and the people that do have them keep them, um, and I can see why. I'm going to carry on using this one for um, on the HFT circuit for now, shooting off sticks, um, cause that's what I enjoy the most. And uh, I'm going to see what kind of, obviously, results we get with it and see if I can win anything with it. So I do like it. It's a very comfy rifle. It's probably the comfiest rifle I've ever pulled to my shoulder. It just fits like a, you know, like a glove. Can't really say anything more than that. It does. It's beautiful. Um, the only downfall of it is it isn't regulated, but you can get them regulated to do upgrade regulators. So other companies like, I, I believe, you know, Huma will probably do one, Lane do them, there'll be other companies that do them, Ratworks will probably do it. And um, there's a few, but at the minute I'm going to shoot it unregulated because it does seem to be obviously grouping really well. And some people have said they don't need one. It's a bit like the HFT 500. They're a great gun. You find a sweet spot, you don't need your egg. So, yeah, marks out of 10 as a target rifle. I'm going to give it an 8. Um, possibly could go up to a nine depending on how well you know how well it shoots in the course and if I can get used to it or not but like that's probably the gun behind the person it isn't the gun and that's about it guys so thank you for watching this review on the day state huntsman griffin it's much appreciated if you liked it please like subscribe and share and hit the notification button because it really does help the channel so cheers guys I'll see you next week